What's up, everyone? So I got in my car this morning to head to town. I started the car, and that dreaded check engine light came on. In this video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose that. You're only going to need one tool to do this, and you're going to need this OBD2 code reader. You can get it at any auto parts store or Walmart. I got this one at Walmart for about $19. And as usual, I'll post the link in the description. All vehicles made since 1996 were required to have an OBD2 port, so if your vehicle is within that range, your car has a port and these OBD2 code readers can be used. Most of these OBD2 ports are going to be located on the driver's side underneath the dash. There's no on button on this, so all you do is plug it into the OBD2 port and it'll automatically power on. And your key should be in the on position. So we're going to hit the enter button for it to scan. And it's going to get the vehicle information. On this screen, it'll tell you how many codes were found. You can read the code, erase the code, view freeze frame, etc. But we want to read the code, so we're going to hit one. It's going to read it. And P0126 is the only code that we're getting. This is insufficient coolant temperature for stable operations. Now, after you get the code, I would Google your make, model, and year number, and also the code number, and it'll tell you exactly what that means for your car, the symptoms, causes, and possible solutions. Now, my car was displaying none of these symptoms. And after doing some research on this code for my car, the majority of what I found was that for my car is going to be a glitch. Now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the code reader, and I'm going to erase the code. That'll also clear the check engine light. And I'm going to see if that light pops on again with that same code. If it does, I'll just go from there. All right, so now I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to go down to exit. You want to exit the test, yes. And all you have to do is unplug it, and that's all there is to it. For $20, I highly recommend buying this OBD2 code reader. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe.